As the UK's coronavirus death toll rises above 28,000, the Prime Minister talks candidly about his experience of being in intensive care with the virus. In an interview with The Sun on Sunday, Boris Johnson says he was given litres and litres of oxygen and it was 50-50 whether he'd be put on a ventilator. He's so sweet. Ah, oh, congratulations. A royal welcome the Duchess of Cambridge shows her support for new parents and maternity staff with a virtual visit. Good morning. Grinds for concern. Brighton voiced their opposition to the Premier League finishing at neutral venues. Clubs have been told it's the only way of restarting and completing the remaining fixtures for safety reasons. Sunday papers, as we've been reporting, The Sun on Sunday leading with that exclusive interview with the Prime Minister. In it, he talks about suffering from coronavirus and says how uh, doctors had plans in place if things went badly wrong. Meanwhile, the first picture of Boris Johnson and Carrie Simon's son, Wilfred Laurie Nicholas Johnson, features on the front of the Telegraph this morning. The front page also suggests that primary schools could reopen in June. However, Downing Street has told the BBC it is speculation and no return date has been agreed. Interesting, that middle name Nicholas is named after two of the doctors who uh, helped to uh, get the Prime Minister back through his, uh, his uh, crisis. The Daily Express, the Sunday Express, also focuses on what post-lockdown Britain could look like, including suggestions that employees could be made to wear face masks and workplaces required to use floor markings to enable social distancing. And finally, the Mirror leads on its own campaign to award immediate bonuses to those working on the front line during the pandemic. Good morning. Here's a summary of today's main stories from BBC News. And as the number of people who have died with coronavirus in the UK rises above 28,000, Boris Johnson has spoken in detail about his experience of being seriously ill in hospital. Speaking to The Sun on Sunday newspaper, the Prime Minister, who spent three days in intensive care, said he was given litres and litres of oxygen and contingency plans were in place in case things went badly wrong. Mr Johnson was diagnosed with coronavirus on March the 26th and was admitted to hospital ten days later. More than 2,000 patients have suffered kidney failure after being treated in intensive care for coronavirus. That's according to a research charity. Those affected have required specialist renal support treatment, according to new figures from the Intensive Care National Audit and Research Centre. It's led to a shortage in essential equipment, the government has warned. There are calls for the government to keep levels of public spending high to help boost the economy after the lockdown is lifted. In an open letter to Boris Johnson, the British Chambers of Commerce say a phased reopening of business is needed alongside existing support schemes as soon as possible to avoid further job losses and to prevent businesses from failing.